Basically, obviously, everybody's here for a very festive occasion. What's the occasion is to send Doug, who I'm proud to say not only now is a member of the local from Camden County, but is a member of the Camden County Bar, and, and I'm proud to be a member of a college. And I think that all of us should be proud of people like Doug that are inspirations. Inspirations to those that really need to be inspired. Doug, everything I've read about it, everything I see about you, but whether it's the Law Journal or for your activity in here, says to the, to the young people, disabled young people, hey, there is another world. There is a way to make to make the disability into something that's not desperate. You prove that people can, there is a light, and you, you are light, and that's what we all need. We all need to be proud of you, and we thank you for, for showing that to us that, that don't have some of the problems that you have. Thank you for saying that. Right. Uh, next, we have an, another very special guest, in fact, the chief executive of the municipality we're located in now, in Doug's hometown, uh, Mayor Sue Levin. proud to uh, be here today to join all of Doug's friends and to wish him well in Korea. Uh, I first met Doug when I ran for my very first office and one of the highlights of the campaign as far as my children were concerned were seeing Doug's medal. So Doug, I have to tell you, although we all talk about it doesn't matter if you win or lose, we want the medal. <laughs> But I think what's particularly thrilling to all of us is not just how well Doug has done, and not just that he stands as an inspiration to disabled people, he stands as an inspiration to all of us. He shows all of us what we can do if we put our minds to it, if we put our hearts in our work, and if, remember, if we all remember that life is not easy, and that we have to just keep plugging along. Wherever Doug goes, he has a smile, a friendly word, a nice thing to say, and he shows us that he's more than a courageous athlete, that he's more than a gold medal winner, but that he truly is a human being that we are all proud of, that we all respect, and that I think we all say, gee, I wish I could be like Doug. And so I'm here today on behalf of the residents of Cherry Hill, on behalf of my family, and for myself to say good luck to a good friend. Thank you. I also have an official tribute to present. Congressman Florio could not be here this evening, but he did make some remarks about Doug, all good, in the congressional record on September 22, 1988, and he asked me to present this official plaque to Doug, as well as some, as, as well as some extra copies for all of his relatives, and a personal letter from the congressman. So I will present it. Thanks. Thanks, Mayor. <laughs> Next, we're going to hear from non-politicians I think and uh, but before we do that just uh, I'd like we received some personal notes today just from uh, two or three others just very briefly um, Doug I'm not even sure you, you know these uh, letters and notes came in uh, first from uh, Senator Bill Bradley uh, thank you for your letter inviting me to the party I would love to be with you uh, but your event is scheduled for a weekday when the Senate is in session you're not only a valued friend but you're an inspiration to all the young people about the meaning of excellence I wish you and the entire team the best of luck in the Olympics. I will look forward to welcoming you back with, uh, from a successful trip, Bill Bradley. Uh, a short note from Senator Lautenberg. Uh, thanks for your kind invitation. He's also in session today at the Senate. I stand in continuous admiration for all of your personal and professional successes and offer you my best wishes in Korea. Lastly, uh, from uh, former Governor Brendan Byrne. Thank you for your invitation. Unfortunately, I'm on trial in New York. Good luck at the Olympic Games. New Jersey's proud of you. P.S. I'm sure he 
Next we do we have uh, two other uh, special guests uh, that we'd love to have uh, say a word or two. Uh, one is a former Olympian himself, and one is uh, a trainer, athlete, par excellence. First, let's say hi to Jim Corey of Cherry Hill. You want me to really nail him, Dean? You want me to really crucify him? You really want me to get him? First of all, people, I don't know if you know this, but without these ladies, where are your ladies, pal? Get your hands up in here. Here's one. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, you know, this isn't so bad. The first time I went to the guy's apartment, there were three tremendous ladies. Where are the other two? Yeah, yeah, you better get that. You better get that. I'm going to blow your doors off. First of all, you can't get the guy out of the rack in the morning. Come to the gym, 9 o'clock. Yeah, Frank Messina. Get him up. Get him up. He's dogged me. Everybody thinks you're a great guy. You're a great guy because of these charming young ladies. Everybody knows Doug's an inspiration to everybody. I mean, it goes without saying. Uh, you'd be in the gym working out, and you'd see guys like standing there just saying to themselves, hey, I got up today with a headache, or this charming young lady. I mean, it really is the kind of motivating factor when you see an individual like this, that means that every one of us should never get up and have a bad day. And there's no such thing, my man, as good luck. You know what it is? It's opportunity meeting, <coughs> preparation. Get the job done. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we'd like to say hi to uh, a former Olympian, Doug, Don Bragg. Come say hi to Doug, Don. Uh, I have a very uh, That's all right, Freddie, okay? Is this is tough for you? I can handle it, Josie. My word is loud as Jim is. But uh, uh, I just like to say I've heard enough <laughs> lies here this evening. And I don't like standing here because it shows the two bald spots. <laughs> but anyway, I've known Doug like quite a few people. I know he's a champion. The product of him is a champion. We've been around each other with the governor's award ceremonies and so forth. And I've grown to admire the gentleman. And I told him also that, um, remember, from my experience, let me relate to you the one thing, is that when you finally accomplish winning all these medals, and I'm sure there's going to be many gold, that when they call you to the front podium for the ceremonies, please don't stand up and walk up there. You're going to blow the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd also like to say, in closing, I'd like to mention what Jim said in private. I'd like to say it openly here. Keep those steroids up, Doug. <laughs> Oh, Don, it didn't work for him. <laughs> We're turning over to Don. To Don, to Doug, and to Jim. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, my partners, Lou and Steve, uh, and all of our uh, secretaries and paralegals. They've done a terrific job getting our building ready today. <laughs> Doug Air. After hearing all this, I, I'm sitting here saying, I should have practiced more, you know? <laughs> this, this is uh, such a great honor to me. I, I realize I've been in the, uh, I'll ham it up a little, I've been the world champion since 1982, Olympic champion since then, and record holder. And what I've learned most about winning gold medals and some um, nice things that have happened in my life is it's not the material thing of a gold medal, but it's just what's being demonstrated here in front of me and, and just the people's smiles. and my friends being here, and my families, and the people that I love and care about, and I think that's the real gold medal in life, and I wish I could take this out of the field with me to show them my competitors, but you have, have one of these before you left. But, uh, but, uh, but it's such a great honor, and it just reminds me, the first time Lou, Fred, and Steve and I, we went to see a patient, he was just uh, a head, he was born, you know, to whatever, uh, malfunction, he was just a head in his life, and we went to see him at the hospital, and we gave him encouragement, and we brought him Wheaties, and he had his first bowl of Wheaties cereal, and his head grew a neck. And he had another bowl of Wheaties, and his head and neck grew an arm. And then another bowl, and his head and neck, and an arm, and two arms. After about a case of Wheaties, he had all the parts of his body. And he said, this is great, Lou, Steve, Fred, Doug, I can't thank you guys enough. And he said, why don't I have one more bowl of cereal? I said, okay. So he had a bowl of cereal, and poof, he disappeared. So the moral to this story is sometimes in life you should quit while you're ahead. <laughs> Nice to be present today. I feel maybe.
Maybe I shouldn't say anything, it just quit while I'm ahead. But I, I have to thank each one of you, and Carol, who's my secretary, and who's been so helpful to me. We sat down in Roseanne, we sat down, and we started making up a list of people that I thought I would like to give plaques to. That when everybody here finally got a plaque, <laughs> I said, well, maybe this is silly. Maybe uh, I'll put off the plaques and I'll mail it to uh, certain people. Because everybody has been so wonderful to me, and I just can't thank each one of you enough. Because as I said, I don't think it's the gold medal that matters, but it's the human relationships and the friendships. And as a lawyer, I have the opportunity, and certainly with Steve and Lou and Fred and, and the other partners and the paralegals and secretaries of this firm, to really improve the quality of other people's lives. And, and that's probably the greatest gift that I have an opportunity to share, not only on a, hopefully, a motivational, inspirational level, but a message of, here's someone maybe with a disability or someone with a, a problem that they need for the corporation. And by offering that help as an attorney, even though sometimes they have a bad reputation or something, I think in this firm, uh, there are no bad reputations, it's just people that care about people. And I'm just so proud to be with this firm, and I look forward to our, our growing old and uh, successful, but I know that we're going to have the opportunity of helping many people. And, I truly want to thank each one of them for, Lou and Steve and Fred for throwing this party because we mentioned it months ago, saying let's have a party. I'm like, well, it kind of adds a lot of pressure because I got the Olympics coming up, and you know, what if I don't win the gold medal? And I go out there with all these people say, good luck, Doug, you got to win the gold medal. That's like adding a lot of extra pressure. But um, I did present something for my law firm here, and I mean this so truly from the heart. And I hope that each one of you have an opportunity to spend time with each one of these terrific lawyers and. Uh, and get to know them as well as I know them and continue to learn from them. But the plaque says, in gratitude to the law firm of Morgan Board, Bornstein & Air. Thank you for always going one step beyond caring, giving, understanding, and for being legendary lawyers, secretaries, paralegals, and staff. You're all champions of champions. And I hope this will proud of you.